What's going on guys, ChillSFM here, taking a look at a double bug team in the Little Cup Remix. Now, I normally actually enjoy the Little Cups. I'm normally able to climb a lot of ELO in them, and that's because I'm able to find the off-meta picks that are just going to destroy. They're either going to give me that strong shield advantage or switch advantage, which is super important. Like. It's important in all formats, but it's even more important in something like Little Cup where these charge moves do so much damage and where things can be a lot more RPS. So in this team, it's going to be Venonat. Venonat absolutely wrecks in this format if you're running Bug Bite on it. Now, it's important, don't run Confusion on it because if you run Confusion, you're actually going to be losing to Why Not and Why Not is absolutely everywhere. But with Bug Bite, you can take shields from even your hardest counters. I'm talking about things like Onyx. If you're able to get Bug Bite plus Signal Beam, you're going to be able to get a shield from an Onyx. Things like Drifloon, which are double resisting all the Bug Bites, which is your main source of damage, and also single resisting the Poison Fangs, you're still going to be able to get shield advantage. You're going to see that in this video. It's actually kind of crazy. Um, so yes, Venonat with Bug Bite is going to be putting in a ton of work in this video. It's going to be, re it's really going to be the star of the show. Onyx is a phenomenal lead. Shelmet's insane as a closer. It has such great bulk. It's very spammy. But Venonat is going to steal the show in this video. And I had a lot of success with this team. As you can see, I started out at 28.54. I only played three sets with this team. Uh, and I was able to climb over 100 ELO with this team. Now, I'm almost at Legend by the time this goes out. I hopefully will be at Legend. I'm going to be going live shortly after I record this to try to make that Legend push. Uh, but if I don't make it today, then I will also be going live tomorrow, which will be Friday for me, um, during my lunch break to try to finish the Legend push then. In addition to that, guys, we are almost at 2,500 subscribers on this channel. So first of all, thank you all so much for sticking around, for hitting that sub button, for all the likes and comments that you've given to help this channel grow. Um, but secondly, like, help me finish that push to 2,500 by leaving a like in the comments on this video. Uh, also sharing if you know anybody that is wanting to play in the Little Cup, um, Little Cup Remix, I should say. Uh, because this team's definitely a lot of fun and it was very successful for me. All right, let's jump on into some of these battles. We're going to be able to get off another Poison Fang here against the Shelmet. We do grab a shield right there. Are we able to make it to the next one? No, they actually infestation us down, which is a little unfortunate. The Shelmet is loaded on energy. Now I make a misplay here. I come in with my Shelmet thinking that they were going to throw the blind bug buzz and I was thinking that bug resisted bug. But that's because I'm used to playing bugs that are part poison too, like things like air Dose, things like Beedro, um, and, and that's the reason they normally resist bug. Bug does not resist bug, so if they would have thrown their bug buzz there, I would have probably been in a little bit of trouble. But regardless, they swap out into why not. We're going to be going straight for our bug buzzes here, which will be doing massive, super effective damage to the bulky why not, putting them deep into the red. Now we could tank this next mirror shot, and I do decide to do so since their shelmet is loaded, but now we only need to make it to another body slam to take out this why not. All they have left is their shelmet. I'm going to be immediately swapping out into my onyx. I do have a sand tomb ready to go, which in hindsight, I probably should just go for the smack down here because this sand tomb's going to do basically nothing and it did give them a free infestation. Still, I can comfortably shield up one here. Uh, no matter what, I'm going to get through at least one rock throw because they were not at the body slam plus the bug buzz. Uh, but I think this is just going to be another body slam here. Yeah, it's just a body slam. Onyx tanks it. Onyx has some nice bulk. That's another thing about this team. Like it's, it's a fairly bulky team in a little cup, which is notoriously a glassy format. Anyways, into the next one, up against a Nightmare lead, a, a Lowland Sandshrew, a Shadow of Lowland Sandshrew, I should say. We get some lag here. The Rock Throws, of course, still going through with Powder Snow is coming through. I have to just show up the Night Slash here. I, Onyx is really my best answer here. So I have to at least get the Sand Tomb off. So we go for the Sand Tomb. So we'll be hitting them for super effective if they do not shield it up. It is a weak move, but it does a lot of damage. I go for the Snipe with Venonat, but they also swap out immediately into Seal. So they have shield advantage. Can I get it back with the Venonat? Going straight for the Poison Fang, not even going to bait with the Signal Beam. And now they're going to be throwing their energy here. I believe this is just an Aquatel. No, it's Icy Wind. Um, so for, for your knowledge, Icy Wind and Aquatel do the exact same amount of damage, whereas Icy Wind is more expensive 
expensive move. Um, of course, Icy Wind does drop your your attack, um, which is what they were going for there. But we do get the farm down, and then they bring in a Jangmo O, which is like another core breaker for this team. I'm down shields. I'm not feeling great. However, that's Lowland Sanctuary was very low. Now they have some energy. I'm not sure if they left with a move. So I'm going to go ahead and just sack our Onyx here. We've got a little bit of rock throw damage, hopefully putting this Jangmo O into body slam range after the infestations. Now I can't really throw on good timing here because we are both running three turn moves. So I'm going to go for the body slam. And of course that grabs their shield. Now they are building up to the back to back Dragon Claws. By the way, I think Jangmo O is a really good pick in this meta. Uh, as long as we're not seeing a lot of spritzies, right? This thing gets destroyed by spritzy, and that's the number one reason I did not build a team around it for the first day, um, because I thought there was going to be a lot of spritzies, but I haven't seen them. Now, Shelmet, can you be tanky enough to tank this Dragon Claw? Yes, it does. We get off the next Body Slam. It all comes down to, does the Alolan Sandshrew have a move ready to go? It does not. We get the infestation through, and Shelmet clutches out that end game. Honestly, a game that I thought was not going to be winnable when I saw the Lowland Sanctuary lead, and especially when I saw the Jangmo O uh, in the back. So, very happy to win that game into the next one. Up against a Squobat lead, definitely not something Onyx wants to see because we would be taking double super effective damage from the Bullet Seeds, and now they're going to be swapping out into a Shelmet. You see, they did do the chip and dip there because of this is not really a good matchup for Shelmet. They don't really have a great answer for Venonat, it seems. Um, we're going to be able to make it to this next Poison Fang to potentially grab a shield. No, they do not shield it. And it was CMP. I know they have a little bit of extra energy. I could probably two shield and flip switch here, but it's not really worth it for me. I'd rather have the energy here on my Onyx. And I know our switch clocks are misaligned, so I can take advantage of that as well. We will have to eat a Body Slam here. Body Slam is resisted, does basically nothing. And we get a little bit of energy on our Onyx. They're going to be probably coming back in with Skull Wet. I was ready for it, but I was going to throw at least one rock though, just to be sure. And they actually come in with Seal, interesting enough. They expected me to blind swap, knowing that our switch clocks were misaligned. Uh, but I'm going to take advantage of this. They go straight for the Aqua Tail. We definitely don't want to tank that because if it is double super effective as well. But now I'm going to be baiting with the Sand Tomb, and they call the bait. Unfortunately, they're going to be swapping out into Squobet. I'm going to build up some extra energy and come in now with my Shelmet. Shelmet, a pretty strong answer for Squobet. However, the Body Slams will definitely add up over time. Going for our own Body Slam here. Didn't really feel like I needed to go for the Bug Buzz with the Infestations doing damage and Squobet not being that bulky. Um, so we're going to go ahead and eat this next Body Slam. Yeah, we do decide to eat it. Puts us into the yellow, and unfortunately we lose CMP on this next one, so I have to make a decision. Do I think they're going to shield? I really don't. I really don't think they will. Even though the Bullet Seeds would be doing super effective, double super effective to our Onyx, they do let it go. Now we can come back in with our Onyx and go straight for this Sand Tomb. The Sand Tomb will be dropping their defense. They have a shield. They might as well use it. But now these Rock Throws are going to be doing a lot more damage. Do they make it to the back-to-back -back Aqua Tails? I don't know. They're, they're throwing the first one, which makes me think they probably have the back-to-backs. But you're going to see. We get the next Rock Throw through. And that's going to be GG's well played to my opponent. Definitely a close one, but we take the win. Um, by the way, I played... I think I mentioned this. I played three sets. Uh, I went 11 and 4 the, of the four that I lost, I felt like two of those were winnable. So I felt like two were just kind of RPS. Uh, the other two did feel winnable. Um, so yeah, I mean, you're gonna see, you're gonna see one of them. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. Uh, th this cup's pretty RPS, and having high fast move pressure, you would think this team's gonna be very RPS, but it didn't feel terrible, right? There's gonna be some, no matter what. It's a little cup, uh, but this team did, definitely did not feel terrible for it. All right, so Dwebble comes back in. We get the Poison Fang off, and now we're going to be rock throwing this thing down. We really don't care what they throw right here. I think at worst it's an X-Scissor, right? Yeah, X-Scissor does basically nothing. We rock throw down, and we're going to be able to sand to this. Why not? Before we come in with one of the hardest answers for it, Shelman. So this is very good for me. We both have two shields, but I will be able to outspam with the Body Slams. Uh, I think I let this first one go, just to see how much it does. Excuse me, y'all. Got a little bit of a sore throat going on right now. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's anything, but... <clears throat> Anyways, going for the next body slam. We do grab a shield. Uh, 
or I guess the first body slam, going to be building up to the next bug buzz, going for another body slam bait. And they do call it, but that's fine. I can just go straight body slam at this point. I'm going to go ahead and show this up. I might as well show something. It is, of course, just the mirror coat. That's all why not has. Like, that's the only move it can have. Um, so we can go for another body slam right here. Puts them into the red, and they decide to top left. So GG's. Well played. All right, into the next one. Onyx into Alolan Grimer. So I think Alolan Grimer is a great pick for this meta. I actually really like my opponent's team here. Um, they're going to come back, come in with a Shadow Chikorita. And we have a great answer for it with Venonat. We're going to be able to get this Poison Fang off because they did not throw their energy immediately. So we grab a shield there, which is phenomenal for us. But you're going to see Shadow Chikorita is a beast it's going to be able to get that shield back very easily by throwing the back-to-back -back body slam so i will have to shield up right here to keep alignment um and i'll have a little bit of energy on venonat so like it's still a really good matchup for venonat but i do think that shadow chikorita is very strong in this meta and i think that the alolan grimer is also very strong it just really doesn't want to see an onyx so we're not playing around. We're going to go straight for the signal beam right here. Do they respect it? They do not. Grimer gets one shot. In the back, they have a Skaroopy. I'm going to come in with our Shelmet, and this game's over. They play it out. I'm just going to skip past it, though. Um, so GG's well played to that opponent. Uh, into the next one. Up against a Why Not lead. Definitely not what we want to see with Onyx. So I will be swapping out into our Venonat and starting to do some damage with the Bug Bites. Now they come in with a Drifloon. I overfarm a little bit there trying to make sure I had good timing. I think I could have thrown it immediately actually and got that debuff a little bit quicker. But here's where you're going to see Venonat is an absolute beast. Now they do throw before I do here. And I'm going to eat it. If it's a Shadow Ball, it would take me out. But they go for the Icy Wind Bait, meaning we get this next Poison Fang off. This is going to be getting a shield from my opponent. And then they go for the Hard Hex down, but Venonat is not playing around. We make it to another Poison Fang. And Venonat grabbing two shields, both shields, from one of its hardest counters in the entire Little Cup. Absolutely insane. By the way, if you're wondering why Venonat wasn't used before, um, it's it's 100% because of Bronzer, right? Bronzer with Confusion would be doing super effective damage to Venonat, only taking neutral from the Bug Bites, also double resisting the Poison Fangs, so it really limited its play before, but with that gone, and also with um, Vulpix gone, like, Venonat is just insane. It's an absolute monster. It really is. Anyways, Going to go straight for the Bug Buzz here against the Squovet. Oh, this is the one. I made such a bad misplay here. I thought that my one rock throw took out that Drifloon, but you're gonna see Drifloon's still alive. So I use all my energy there on my Shelman. I also used both shields on Body Slams, which wouldn't be doing that much because I thought this thing was out of there. I thought that thing was out of there. I thought all I had to worry about was the why not. Um, so yeah, that's like a, a massive misplay on my part massive and i still almost win this game um by the way i think maybe if i go sand tomb here instead like sand tomb as soon as i get it i get that extra rock throw damage and then i get the extra infestation damage i get the extra uh bug buzz damage i think i still could have won this but i go for the stone edge thinking a stone edge in a little cup was going to do like at least 50 percent why not and it did it did nothing uh, so they do take me out unfortunately uh, it's going to be a GG's well played to my opponent. It was really just me not paying attention whenever whenever I got that rock throw through and they immediately came in with Scorvette. I thought that that Drifloon went down, but of course it was still pretty healthy. All right, into the next one. Up against the Onyx Mirror lead. I definitely was seeing more Onyxes as I played more uh, in these higher elos. It's, it's a really good lead. It really is a good lead. My Onyx IVs, you can see them. Up there, 15, 12, 15, we're never going to win this. We're gonna always win CMP, but we're never going to actually win this. We're gonna just tank the Sand Tomb here. We're going to just soft lose this. You're gonna see it's not bad in any way whatsoever. We go for the next Sand Tomb here. Uh, potentially would grab a shield, but yeah, they're they're okay with just like taking the soft win. Um, so yeah, I mean, I could show this up and, and take the take switch, but in an ABB team, like switch doesn't make a lot of sense here. Hopefully, this is their only bug type counter, and they're going to be coming in with Vullaby. So Vullaby, if it was running Air Slash, would be a great bug type counter, but with Faint Attack, it's not that great. Like they have to land the Brave Bird. Foul Plays would still do quite a bit of damage, 
I actually have no clue how much it would do because you're gonna see I'm gonna use my shields here <laughs> so we get a we get a shield with the first body slam and then I go for the next body slam because I'm like you know again little cup this should do quite a bit of damage two body slams should be planning to take this thing out but no it's not even close it's not even close a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and shield up this next foul play luckily Volaby does not get to its foul plays very quickly now I'm going to be going for the next body slam hoping to get that last shield if, it, if I do I'll go for the bug butts if I don't i'm going to try to snipe with our venonat so we do not get the shield it does go through uh we try to snipe with venonat but they come in with why not and this just i mean this is such a good matchup right now it is a little bit bait dependent so we're not going to bait we're going to go straight for the signal beam it does connect puts them into the yellow now let's see how much is this mirror shot going to be mirror coat rather going to do it's, it does a ton it does a ton but not to where they can counter me down the counters of course are double resisted and we're going to make it to this next poison fang so poison fang will be putting them deep into the red can we get the bug bite down yes we can all they have left is this volibee and i think they just knew it was over they never used their shield that's going to be ggs well played to my opponent so again you're going to see me claim my elo here we're almost at legend i do highly recommend this team if you are trying to climb in the little cup remix but let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Also, leave a like if you enjoyed this video in any way. Like if it was helpful in any way, if you enjoyed it, uh, hit that like button. It really, I really do appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Until next time, this is Chill SFM reminding you to always keep pushing forward.